People usually cringe when they think about estate planning, but it doesn't have to be scary at all. In this episode of Learn, we discuss the components of an estate plan and exactly why they are important. Hi, my name is Asarte Yarnway, your Learn Mentor, and estate planning is just like retirement planning or tax planning. It's an important part of the holistic financial planning process. Now, simply stated, an estate plan is a combination of legal documents that designate your assets to loved ones should you pass or are unable to make decisions for yourself. The planning includes an assessment of your values, the ways in which you'd like your assets to be transferred, and if applicable, the handling of estate taxes. The documents that should be included in an estate plan are first your trust document. This is the foundation of an estate plan. Next would be the certification of trust. This is a shorter version of the trust that some financial institutions will accept in lieu of an 80 page, 100 page trust document. The next is a general transfer. Now this is the quote unquote, I forgot document in the event that you accumulate assets or you just forget to put the trust documents into the trust. Um, next is the power of attorney. This allows someone to make financial decisions on your behalf in the event that you're unable to do so for yourself. And this could be maybe you're incapacitated, God forbid, or something um, physically happens to you. Next is the HIPAA release form. This allows medical professionals to give information about your health to people on your advanced healthcare directive in the event, again, that you cannot do so or, or make decisions about your health for yourself. Next is the will. This covers all non-trust assets, and sometimes it's called a pour over trust because it allows these assets to be poured over into your trust for that reason. It also states who the guardians of any minor children will be. Now, some states have really state-specific documents that you'll need to include in your estate plan, such as a property agreement, deeds, and again, advanced healthcare directives. It is best it is best, again, to work with a qualified attorney to figure out what documents are needed and what is the process of establishing uh, an estate plan in your state. For more information on estate plans, you go to learn.altruist.com and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook to continue to be a part of the conversation. Once again, my name is Desarte Yarnway. This is Learn, and we'll talk to you soon.